collaborative data ecosystems will be um, the internet moment for, for private and, and public companies. Um, we as Cap Capgemini are our first mover in this space. Um, since 2015, so we are driving uh, data sharing initiatives and driving standards, but also strategic partnerships in, in this space. Um, in the next three years, what we see is that 30% of the world economy will come from uh, da data ecosystems um, so far. And um, this is something we want to move forward and have clients to, to make this happen. So I'm Philip, so I'm leading the, the data ecosystem offering for the German market. And today I have with me Kai. So Kai is our expert when it comes to data sharing in the automotive industry. And he's really driving initiatives in Catena X and also in Gaia X. So Kai, good to have you here. Um, so I really want to learn from you. What's your experience when it comes to data ecosystems? So maybe the first question would be, so what's, what, what is it for you? So what are, what is it, what are data ecosystems um, from your perspective? Many thanks for having me, Philip, and great question. Collaborative data ecosystems in the automotive industry are a key enabler for all parts of the automotive value chain, be it the creation of new digital products, be it the enhancement of existing digital products and services, or for example, the common challenge of tackling climate change and gain new insights fast. It also represents a culture change. Previously not seen eye to eye like we do now, the relationship between OEMs and partners in the value chain have changed from not seeing eye to eye to a more collaborative approach, which is a key enabler for innovation. For instance, Catena X, like you mentioned, is the first data-driven value chain for the automotive industry. Mm. By 2020, by the end of 2020, um, they estimate to have a thousand partners on board, which means a massive uh, collaboration across all tiers um, in the automotive value chain and subsequent benefits for both companies, large and small. Okay, that, that's super exciting what, what you're telling. So what I want to learn from you, and I know you're talking to a lot of clients, is so what are the benefits they're expecting from, from these ecosystems? So what is it from your perspective? From my perspective, um, well, it is one of the most fundamental changes in how companies in this particular ecosystem interact and also one of the most challenging. Mm. Facing common threats, opportunities, challenges alike, companies come to realize that their best bet at winning this game is to exchange data, yet balance it in a way that IPs still remain protected, USPs still remain, however, that you still are able to exchange data across company boundaries to create new insights, create new value for all parties involved. And this uh, mutual benefit for all parties is one of the key enablers. This is very challenging and needs experienced partners. It is important to see data as a product, which can be enhanced like parts in the value chain. Okay, that's super exciting. For me, it's, it's, it's too good to be true to really come move in this direction. And I know that we are helping a lot of clients in this, this regard. What, what, what's, what are the major challenges they need to overcome in this regard? Creative design of new services and products is made possible through sharing of data across company barriers. If you take a look at endeavors like Catena X, like you just mentioned, um, it shows how new products and services can be created through data sharing. Creating transparency over the value chain fast and easily to comply with new re regulations is one problem solved. Also reducing the carbon footprint, enabling circular economy, business partner data management, traceability, real-time control are but a few examples of how data sharing can benefit all partners. And this is one of the main points of success. Okay, so super, super interesting. So thanks a lot for, for these, these great insights. Uh, so maybe j just to conclude uh, what we have just learned from Kai is, um, so data ecosystems are really helping to build new services, improve existing services, but also to generate new insights faster. And I think the most interesting one is also to, to help really to overcome the challenges automotive companies have with the sustainability uh, topic, but also with the carbon footprint. Uh, and also what we see, it's, it's all about working together as a team and collaborating across different companies to make this really happen. Uh, in the end, everybody is, um, is, gets benefits out of it. Um, and also, it's, so the ecosystem, they're already here. So it's a brave new world, which is existing, and we are ready to help, ready to help to overcome all these challenges um, and make this happen and make really benefit out of data ecosystems in the automotive industry. Um, just again, thanks a lot uh, for all these insights uh, and I'm super excited about the future for us uh, and also to see what's happening with our clients and how they tackle this, these challenges and really become the drivers of, uh, of data ecosystems in the automotive industry. So thanks a lot. Thanks again. Thank you very much.